right, thank God, yes, absolutely. Yeah, Every, everything okay with the family and COVID and all this stuff? Yeah, they're all, they're all good, they're all good. It's, we've been blessed, you know. Uh, there were a few who, who got it, but they got over it quickly and they're back to normal. Oh, thank you. Fantastic news, that is. That's fantastic. Um, yes. What's the weather like where you are? Very nice, it's very nice out here. It's, uh, where, where are you? I'm in London, or just outside of I'm, London, in the UK. Okay. Yeah, no, I, right, right now it's, uh, what, let me see, 73 degrees. Oh, it's nice, on. it's sunny, it's clear, it's, it's beautiful. Come on. Yeah, temperature out there. Yeah, so, so are you, you're you involved in uh, real estate now, aren't you? Yes, I've been doing real estate for, uh, for since uh, 2003, 2002. Yeah, I did, uh, I was a stockbroker for a couple of years with a company, a broker who's a, uh, UBS Painweber, it's now UBS Financial Services. Yeah. So, so what, 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 are you still involved in boxing or anything like that, or? Well, I'm still, I, I run, I, I've been, you know, I've been training, I've actually been sporting a little bit and I feel good. Yeah, if, what was that, you thinking of a comeback or? <laughs> you, you, know, you know what, actually, yeah, it may sound funny or crazy or both. No. Yes. But yes, I actually, you know, I wasn't thinking about it, but I was running pretty, you know, aggressively more than even, even before when I was boxing. Yeah. So I decided to go to Tengu's boxing. I started, you know, started training there and uh, moving around and things were just falling in place. I felt good. And I asked, uh, you know, I asked Joe, hey, let me uh, spar. He goes, you're crazy. I said, well. He said, for what? He goes, well, you know, I said, I feel really good. And, you know, I'm, you know, I wasn't thinking about it, but now the thought's coming into my mind and I'm considering, you know, I didn't know he was your crazy. The uh, commission wouldn't let you get a license. I said, why, why not? But I'm, I said, I'm not concerned about the commission at all. I'm more concerned about, you know, how, how will my body react in sparring? Because said, as far as the shadow boxing, jumping rope, hitting the bag, hitting the mitts, all that, Right, it feels good. I, I like you know, but you know, getting hit is a whole different story. Yeah. In there, you know, before I even spend any money with the, uh, you know, medical exams. But he said, no, I'll get the uh, medicals first, and then I'll let you spar. I said okay, so I went and got all the medicals out of the way. I got a I got a green light from the doctors, including an additional doctor who is uh, out of the Cleveland Clinic Brain Health Clinic or. Clinic for Brain Health in Las Vegas. They're doing a study on fighters and other contact sports uh, athletes. Yeah. Yeah. So you think, oh, wow. Then I've been part participating in that program since 2000 and uh, I believe 13, you know, and things are good. That's that's great. So, so, so like, we, we, we've all that. I mean, you, your career, your CV, your resume, your fight resume was, you, you, I mean, you fought everyone. Do you know what I mean? You just you, you fought everyone, and and you know, I mean, if you if you did if you did make a comeback, would you would it be like exhibition or would it be? No, no, it would be actual fights. I've already I've sparred. I, I there's a couple of um, you know, the first time I sparred, uh, you know, which was back in September. Yeah. I sparred a kid who's a you know young younger obviously younger kid, you know, undefeated. Not many fights, but undefeated. We did four rounds. I felt good. I wasn't tired. Didn't, didn't feel any, anything at all. You know, nothing. I didn't, you know, I wasn't discouraged. So then mm -hmm. I trained, you know, I sparred somebody else at another gym. Again, you know, this time I did five rounds. I wasn't discouraged. Then I sparred another kid who's also undefeated. Uh, and that was my third sparring session. Again, I was not discouraged because there was, so, we're, you know, we're good. I, I didn't, you know, get hit to the point where I thought, oh man, this is, you know, I can't take this or I can't do this. Yeah. So I've, you know, I've sparred, you know, and then they sparred with, uh, uh, not recent, not long ago, like three weeks ago or less. You know, I sparred with three, three different guys. Yeah. Two rounds with one, two rounds with another, you know, three with another. And again, you know, it was fine. So, so I haven't been discouraged by getting in there and, and sparring, but obviously, yeah. I did, you know, try and get in shape prior to it because I, I know it needs it's a necessity. Yeah. 
and, and and like I say, a lot a lot of the a lot of the, the legends. Uh, you know, I mean, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones recently uh, fought. Uh, I know Oscar De La Hoya has been been talking of a comeback. Um, yeah, he's he's one year younger than me. He, I I know that he uh, recently he posted uh, that he got his federal ID. You know, well, uh, I, don't know, I guess he. I don't know how serious he's about it or not, but we'll see. Oh wow. So, so, you know, uh, my weight is really good. Uh, you know, I'm walking around, you know, from 148 to 152. So I've been I've been down as low as 143 without you know dieting, just running and sparring and training. So, you know, so 140 would definitely not be a problem. No. One would be a little bit more difficult, but yeah, obviously doable. Yeah. Well, so, like with, with with that as well. I mean. Um... Do 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 you do you still pick you know obviously you're at the gym and everything like that do do you do you still have your contacts inside boxing still if you know what I mean? Wait, say, say that again. I say like you know um, obviously you I know you go to the gym and stuff like that. I mean if you were to make a comeback, would it be with your with your original trainer or your you know would it would you would you would you hire well, a new trainer or? You know originally I thought about that, but I I was uh, I was. I was a little disappointed that uh, he, I went to him. Yeah. You know, he, he's the one who told me, well, we'll get your medicals first before you even spar. Yeah. But I thought, I thought, you know what? I said, you've always said, you know, and I agree that a good sparring is the next best thing to an actual fight. Yeah. Not jumping rope, not shadow boxing, hitting the mitts or the bags. The actual sparring to see how how are you going to respond when you get hit, and uh, you know so so that's why I went and you know spent some money with the medicals, yeah, and then and then you know I came back to him and he just said congratulations on passing your exams, but he didn't allow me to spar the people that you know he was training with, and I asked him to let me spar with them, but he, he said no, so I went somewhere else. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Because I mean, not being funny, you 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 know, you've done everything you, in your career. Um, there's probably not a lot you can be taught. Do you know what I mean? Right. You know, I I agree. And here's the thing. I, I mean, you know, if you look at my record, you know, there's four losses on my record. One was a sports blooper. It was on Fred Rogan's sports bloopers. I, I can't. You know, re, we had a rematch. I beat the guy. Yeah. And the other one was a, 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 I think it is majority decision in uh, Florida against the guy who was being trained by Angelo Dundee in Florida. Yeah. And they gave him, you know, they gave him the decision. Yeah. Uh, the other two are, are Oscar and, and Costa Zoo. Yeah. With Costa Zoo, I, I, you know, I believe that the fight was to start prematurely. Yeah, it was, it was. I, I, I think that as well. Um, what yeah, I was, ne I was never dropped. I was not cut. I was not bleeding. I was not swollen. You know, and, and if you look at the uh, video, it's on YouTube, you can see there when even my trainer realizes that he messed up. But then he said, it's too late. So it's, you know, let's just go. We're not, we're not come on, come on. That's just, you know. Yeah. So, so would you, would you, what would you say was your hardest fight then in, in, in boxing? Would it be any of the losses or would it just be? Well, you know, you know the, the loss itself was a difficult result just, just because mm. it was a loss. It was not, you know, uh, you know, an easy thing to to handle, but you know, it's, there were some other fights where you know I won the fights, but they were you know difficult fights because you know I know for the championship fight it was rough because I had to get up off the canvas twice yeah. in the round, you know, and, and jump on them because I, I knew that I was far behind, getting you know knocked on twice in the first round. So I had to make up a lot of ground, you know, and I. Had to on them, on them for 12 rounds, you know, and that was exhausting. You know, he, he was quick, you know, he was not a hard puncher, but he was definitely quick, you know. Yeah, was, uh, yeah so with Freddie Pendleton, that was, you yeah. know, there other fights, you know, uh, uh, there was a rematch that I had uh, with Mauro Betillo Gutierrez, who, you know, a, a rough, a heavy handed fighter, yeah, a lot of punches, and, you know, uh, that's, you know, one of the fights where uh, it was a rematch because the first one you know, was stopped. 
I say, you, I, I mean, I, I just look at your CV. Like I say again, sorry if I repeat myself, but wow, it is like a who's who on your record, you know? You, you, you yeah, you're Rocky, Rocky Lockridge was at Help One, you know. Uh, I remember he, I was pretty young and I was fighting uh, Jesus Alud, who, who beat you know, Baron McGigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a very good win, you know. Pires was a good win, you know. That's what I say. So, you know, we, we, we kind of spoke about it. The, the 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 not the lows but the losses maybe what what would you say was your you know your career highs you know the highlight well, of your career well winning, winning the title was definitely definitely a highlight I mean for me you know, you know it, one of my first highlights was you know beating uh, Jesus Alud because he had beaten Barry McGigan you know yes I remember watching that fight and I remember my my oldest brother being. You know, Barry McGigan was one of his favorite fighters, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so that was a, you know, a good highlight for me. You know, stopping uh, Pius, Jorge Pius was a very good you know, highlight for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I say. You just uh, just look at, look at, again, I'm, I'm sorry if I repeat myself, but I just look at your record and it is, it's just, wow. <laughs> hey. do, do, do you like, do you have any regrets about uh, about your career at all, like boxing wise, or you know? No, you know what? I don't. I mean, if I were to do things, if I had to do anything different, you know, I would run a little more than I did before because uh, the one thing that I you know probably struggled with was my my balance, my my legs. I don't think they were as strong as they should have been, and I feel that they're stronger now because I've been you know doing a lot more running than I did before. Yeah, and a, and, and a wiser, wiser head on your shoulders now, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. With age and with all that experience, yes, absolutely. Yeah, so do, do you still follow boxing nowadays? I mean, are you sort of... I, I do, not as, not as closely as I used to, but yes, I, I do, especially, you know, uh, the you know, lightweight uh, you know, junior, uh, you know, junior lightweight, you know, in welterweight divisions. Yes. So, so uh, will you be watching Canelo Alvarez this weekend? Yes, I'll be watching it. I, I, I definitely yes. What other fighters do you? Uh, is there any other fighters that you sort of keep your eye on? And well, I keep my eye on the fights that are you know one thirty, one thirty five, one forty, and one forty seven. Those are all you know uh, fighters that uh, that I would you know likely be uh, you know getting you know going up against and. And you know, and so far, having watched those fights, I have not been discouraged. I've right. actually been encouraged by watching those fights because I haven't been, you know, I don't know, highly impressed. I mean, with Ryan Garcia, you know, getting knocked down and you know, getting off the canvas and you know, against Campbell, Luke Campbell, who yeah. didn't jump on them when he was, you know, when he got up. Yeah. You know, um, so did. did are you, are, you, are you impressed with you're not you're not really impressed with Garcia then or well you know he's talented he's fast and but but I don't think he he is you know as much as they say or as he makes himself yeah. be like you know like being the best out there you know yeah no I know and and what what got me as well with the with the commentating in the UK was they kept comparing him to Oscar De La Hoya yeah. Um, no. No, I don't believe that at all. No, 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 me, 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 me as well. So, yeah. so we, we spoke briefly about your career. Uh, we spoke briefly about a comeback. Um, so, have you got anything else in the pipeline? Well, right now, right now, like, I'm just you know, uh, you know, on hold. I'm you know, finding out with the California Association, not with the commission, the you know, California State Authority Commission. So they see what you because I submitted you know, the application, the, everything is done. They say I'm ready to go, but they were asking for, you know, like who's my trainer, who's my manager. I said, what is that? Why is that relevant to you know my license? I mean, if I haven't signed it with anybody, I said I've already paid the, you know, fee for the license. I've completed all the requirements, yeah. medical, I've passed them. They send me my license. Yeah. You know? And they say they don't do that. I say, well, you don't. They say, well, you used to because I, I have my old one. But I don't know. You know, it's been a little weird. Yeah. So, do you, do you ever think you, um, 
when you, when you felt when you finally call time on your in ring career, do you think you'll go into coaching or anything like that? I'm sorry, can you repeat that one? Uh, I said when once you um, when you finally call a yeah. time on your in ring career, do you think you'll move on to coaching or, or anything like that? Yeah, I, I think so. I like the you know, I had before because. I knew that if I was that if I stayed too close to the sport, it would lure me in. I stayed away for a lot of years because I, I was in I was in school and I was working with the, you know as a stockbroker and then later as real in real estate. And uh, you know I was running long distance. I was doing well, but I stayed out of the gym because if I went to gym, I, I'd see I'd see things that you know would lure me in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so how, how's the, how's the real estate business anyway? Well, it's been slow because of, you know the pandemic has definitely been you know had an impact on, on the uh, you know real estate market. Yeah, but it's also you know, pretty crazy how you know in spite of the, this pandemic, you know, uh, right now uh, homes are selling you know, very high here in California, in Southern California, and yeah. here. Probably in other places as well, other states as well. Yeah, see, at the minute it's 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 crazy over in the UK. I mean, especially where I am, it's um they they're just talking about um you know loosening up the restrictions and so so forth, and it's just been one 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 big nightmare really. But you know, not just for me, but for everyone around the world. Um, yeah, yeah. And all, all we can do is pray and and, and wish everyone uh, you know. To, to stay safe and keep well. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with it. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, that, and that's it from me. Um, uh, I will let you get back to your your day. And I really appreciate Thank your you. time. You're welcome.